morning from Tokyo Disney. Today is Tokyo Disney Day 2. We are going to Disney Sea. Disney Sea is an exclusive park of Tokyo Disneyland. I heard that it's nothing like anything you've ever seen before, and I'm just so excited. I'm wearing my little water blue dress. I've got these cute little bobble bar Mickey ears in. And I have these braids, which gave me Total Mermaid vibes, which just seems very fitting for Tokyo Disney Sea. This is my first time to the Tokyo Disneyland area. I've been to Tokyo before, but never got to go over to Disneyland. I'm here on a three week Asia trip with my mom and we are gonna bring you along today at Tokyo Disney Sea. Come with us first timers. I'm excited to bring you guys along. And for anybody wondering, we are staying at the Hilton Tokyo Bay, which is an official Disney resort, but it's not exactly Disney themed. We have found this to be the absolute perfect hotel. So if you're looking to come, I would definitely suggest. It's definitely a little bit more budget friendly than some of the more insane hotels. And we really only have been here to sleep and it has been wonderful. The staff has been wonderful. So 10 out of 10 recommend Hilton Tokyo Bay if you're coming. All right, we are at the monorail this morning and we're gonna get some tickets to ride the Disney monorail. <laughs> we got him! Let's go! Alright! If you haven't seen the last vlog, I'm obsessed with these little handrails that you can hold on to. And look at the Mickey shaped windows! One stop over to Disney Sea. Alright! Look at the beautiful hotel! Look at how many people. You can't even see how far back that goes. It's raining a little bit, but not bad. So many umbrellas. Holy smokes. All right, we are almost to bag check. Let me just give you a visual on all of the lines of people literally <laughs> trying to get into this park. How wild is this? It's 9.01, so we are like, the park just yeah, opened. Yeah. We both got through the scanner without having to do an additional bag check, but I needed to document this because it never happens to me. I always get stopped at Disney, and now we're about to scan in our tickets, so I gotta pull them up. You guys, look, it's Florida, right there. This is so cool. I don't know if you can tell, but there is water rushing through the actual ocean. Can you see, kind of right there? This is amazing. Okay, we're heading back into some rides. We just game planned a little bit. And look at how cute this is. It's so different. Wow, look there. You're gonna have to video. Wow. Look at this. this so what unique. in the world? And you guys are opening up a new world that includes Tangled and Peter Pan. I'm so excited. It's opening up in like spring of 2024, so we're here a little early for it. But oh my goodness. Guess we'll have to come back. Oh yeah. This is absolutely incredible. There are also a million people here. Some of the wait times are already up to 110 minutes. We're trying to figure out, oh my gosh. Gondola steamboats. Holy smokes. Hands down, people weren't kidding. This is the coolest Disney park ever. Yeah? I'm not even, I don't even know. I haven't seen all of it, but it is crazy. I feel like completely disoriented because yesterday, like, the other park is very similarly laid out to Magic Kingdom, so we knew where we were going. Here is like, whoa, look at this, Gracie. It's like a whole new world. <laughs> it really is. Holy smoke. Wow, it is insane. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so like blown away. <laughs> this is absolute insanity. My mom is way in front of me. First ride of the day, Raging Spirits. It's a roller coaster, and it's a 15 minute wait right now. It's like a old, old time roller coaster. Ooh. I don't know. It's not really good. Yeah. First ride, there it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have made it to the front of the line, and we're gonna be on the front car on the coaster, but here's what it looks like. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was just about worth the 20 minute wait that we had. <laughs> it was really short, but it was fun and cute. 
and now we're gonna figure out where the heck else we're going. This line looks extremely long now, so I hope Indiana Jones isn't too long, or there's like another storybook place that we we're looking at going to before our first free 40th priority pass fast pass. How cute! <laughs> This one is a five minute wait, so we decided to come over and do it. We can take a little boat ride. Oh, cute. This is very similar to It's a Small World. Look, look, look. We've got a little jasmine fountain over here. Stop. This is so cute. This is such a magical moment. We've got a boo. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she wants to take a photo. Oh. Look at this double decker carousel. How adorable. You guys, this is just absolutely insane. And we just got photos with a boo. It was so cute. You can ride on Aladdin. Oh. Or uh, not Aladdin. Um, the genie? Yes. <laughs> I might have to do that later. Oh my goodness. And Princess Jasmine. Oh, this is awesome. I like how they do the character greets. You can just kind of hang out. So cool. But now we're going to head over. To Little Mermaid area of the park yes. and then get over to our fast pass. Welcome to Atlantica! Oh my stinking goodness. Wow, this is just incredible. for a thousand leagues under the sea. Oh my goodness. It just feels like you're in a movie set. Absolutely insane. I'm mistaken, it's 20,000. Please keep it up So cute. This is strange. Oh no. What do we have to do? Oh, 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 Okay, so we just ended up buying the Disney Premier Access for the journey to the center of the earth. It's been a really long wait. It's 10 bucks a person to be able to do it. So we just decided that was well worth our time. Our reservations in about 25 minutes. We're gonna head back over to the Little Mermaid section because we wanna go look at the little shops and some of the other things that we didn't do over there yet. We figured what better way to blow off some time. Plus that pass is for an hour, kind of like a fast pass, so we don't exactly have to go at 
11.35 when it's up. We can go 11.35 to 12.35. So we're gonna go back over to Triton's Kingdom and see what else we can find. You guys, how sweet. Our special. Oh my goodness. This is, oh man. Oh, I got the, oh. Oh my god. We decided that we're gonna do scum on scooters since it's a 10 minute way. Oh. Okay, here we go. You gonna be in this green and pink one? Yay! <laughs> Time to use our priority access fast pass because we don't want to wait in this absolutely massive line. I wish I could just show you how many people. It goes all the way up there. So we have opted for the $10 option to not wait so that we can try and ride every ride in this park. All right, here we go. A wonton and crispy rice soup. We also got the shrimp and chili sauce and some dim sum. So we are going to lunch right now. Wow, these are amazing. The soup is amazing. The drinks are amazing. That's really good. And we are about to try the dim sum. We are full and ready to ride more rides, but we are bringing around our little drinks because we saw other people walking on parts of them. So really good actually. Oh, it's raining again. Oh. Bummer. The thing is, is that it said that there was a 10% chance of rain at 10 and 2, but it's been drizzling like all day. But we didn't bring our rain jackets since we go, oh, 10 and 2. Like, we can find something to do at that time. Um, it's 1 o'clock right now, and it's not looking good. It's still drizzling, so we're going to ride Nemo and Friends Sea Rider because we get to wait underneath this covering, and it's just about 40 minutes. All right, we're on this little water ride. I don't know, it's called Aquatopia. And here we go. We thought we were going to be driving it, but apparently we just we're go. just we're like on a little route. On these little things. Silly, but we said we have to try everything new, so that's right. Here we are. Ah! Speed up. We're taking the electric train over yes. to American Waterfront. Look at Toyville. Oh, there is this entrance. We're gonna ride this tower of terror. I cannot wait. 
not even get to an angle to show you how cool this hotel is. We just got our return time, so we are gonna go in. Wow. I love it in here. So cool. Uh-oh. I think this hotel might be out of order. I do not want to go in <laughs> oh my goodness it's so different from our tower of terror the whole premise everything The drops, I think, were more intense than. It, I don't know. Florida. I closed my eyes. I don't, <laughs> lie. I, was, I don't like this. I'm scared. Maybe this is a better angle, but this is the Tower of Terror. So, make it different. We are currently in America. The US steamship got all kinds of US things and New York City trash cans. This wind is no joke. It's really windy. So, we are about to take. Boring, fantastic flight. Skipping, literally. I can't even believe it. Here we go. Look at all of this artwork. Totally different than waiting for Soren at Epcot. We're not even sure if it's the same sort of ride. But we're gonna find out. I hope it's different. <laughs> Body bags, like you can literally put things in the back of them. I'm obsessed with this Chip and Dale one, but literally, like, what do you fit in here? A phone, a lip gloss, maybe a wallet. I don't know, but they're just darling. We're back in Triton's Kingdom for one thing and one thing only this sea salt little shell ice cream. I have seen it all over TikTok and I absolutely need to try it. It looks so good, but these are also very popular and a tomb ice cream sandwich. But for this one. Okay, how stinking cute is this packaging? Look at Minnie. She looks so good and we're gonna open it up and look at the inside. Stop it. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, isn't it so good? It, this part like tastes like a waffle cone. I was just like gonna a say cone. like a cone, but like... Like a sugar cone that you get on a cruise. Mm. You get to the raspberry, see I didn't get that far. Woo! <laughs> it's like a sea salt ice cream. This part tastes like a little sugar cone. You get a little bit of sweet fruit. Oh, oh. My teeth are usually too sensitive to bite into ice cream, but I think mm. the little waffle cone kind of helps. Mmm. It is cold. It's really cold. <laughs> if you know me, you know I love a good sweatshirt. I love getting sweatshirts everywhere that I go, and I saw this in a kid's size yesterday. I said, dang. I wish they had that in adult size, and look, I found it, so I think I just have to get it. We're about to get in line for our last ride of the day, I think. We've pretty much done everything else but Toy Story Mania, but it is exactly the same as the one at home, and the line is like, never been shorter than 80 minutes, so we're like, uh. We're gonna do Indiana Jones for 45. We're getting in line now. Just got my sweatshirt. No, not in Florida. Do it, I haven't done it since, uh, Disneyland Paris last summer and it was rickety. Hannah and I were like, oh, our necks. So, uh, so do we want to do we're it? eager to see what this one's gonna be like. This is cool. Still waiting. This looks like a totally different ride than the one at Disneyland Paris, so I'm excited.
think was me having the driver. <laughs> it reminded me of the dinosaur ride at Animal Kingdom. But Indiana Jones seemed yeah, way better. Oh my gosh. It was so fun. Saying one last goodbye to all of the sparkly ears that they have here. It's honestly wild. Hey guys, look, there's a rainbow! Coming out of Agrabah. <laughs> So pretty. Saw people coming in the line in the priority pass lane that were soaked. So it was totally storming when we were inside waiting for Indiana Jones. What a nice little surprise to come out to. These are the most popular glasses we have seen around the parks. I'm sure they look the terrible. Past few days, they are just so funny. They come in a bunch of different colors too. We saw the samples like we gotta try them on these little mix glasses. Well, we decided that instead of staying for the water show, which we're not even sure with this crazy weather if it's going to happen or not, that we are going to make our way back to our hotel, pick up our bags, and then we're actually staying the night and the next night at another hotel in like downtown Tokyo, because where Disney is is Tokyo Bay, which is far away from actual Tokyo. So we are saying goodbye to Disney! This monorail is decorated on the inside. Even the ceiling, and it goes ombre to another color. We've got our Uber, we've got our bags, suitcases, and we're heading to downtown Tokyo. Hello, Tokyo. Hard to see out this window. And this marks the end of the Tokyo Disney Sea vlog, you guys. Truly, I understand why they say that Tokyo Disney Sea is the best Disney park in the world. It is just absolutely incredible, over the top. If you ever have the chance to go, I highly, highly, highly recommend. Hit all of the top spots, hit everything, spend the entire day there, and see the water show, which we did not end up staying for. I'm sure it was amazing, but I think it might have been canceled due to weather last night anyway. So we're glad we just came into Center City, Tokyo. Truly visiting made me remember just how much I love Disney in case I ever were to forget I freaking love it I can't wait to check off my last two sometime in the future for Shanghai and Hong Kong Disneyland and until then I will see you guys in the next video make sure that you subscribe down below if you haven't already so you don't miss any of these Asia vlogs or anything else that's to come after we are about to head out on our one and only day in downtown Tokyo so I'm gonna bring you guys along on that on another vlog so if you're not subscribed you will miss that one you can also follow me on my other social medias to see what we're up to more on a real-time basis but for now we're gonna go explore Tokyo I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one